so today I wanted to do a review of the feet that I use as a bilateral above the knee amputee. You may have seen a couple of the videos of me walking and wondering what feet that I use because um, I'm going to brag a little and I do have a pretty smooth gait as a bilateral amputee. Um, so I'll just get right to it. I use Freedom Innovations Kintera feet. Um, like I said, they have a smooth gait. They're rated for a K3 amputee. Um, if you're familiar with the K levels, uh, there are hydraulics in them and that allows some flexion and I'll show you what I mean. Let's move this back here. And I already took my foot off. Um, so if you look here, I can plantar flex, move, move the toes downward. It's got, I think 12 degrees of flexion is what the website says. And then this will move back. And then there's some dorsiflexion too, which is, you know, moving the toes up. Um, and that helps me when I'm going down slopes or up slopes. Uh, helps with the transitions when I'm walking, the rollovers, I guess is what they're called. Um, and if you look on here on the feet, there are settings for the plantar flexion and dorsiflexion. You can adjust the resistance, which I'll show in just a moment. So... Let me zoom in here, and there's the adjustments for the plantar flexion, PF. And then on this side is the adjustment for the dorsiflexion. And so I can adjust the resistance depending on what I like. And a lot of it is trial and error. Um, you know, I move them. My prosthetist told me just to move them a half turn. And you can use this, you can do that using um, one of these, which I'm sure most amputees have. And it's pretty easy to turn. Um, let's see. So the way I try it is I just move it half turn, walk a little bit, and then decide if that's a setting that I like, and I can adjust it from there. So, and these feet are rated for a person up to 275 pounds. I obviously don't weigh that. I weigh about 105 without my prosthetics on. Um, I used to use Freedom Innovations runway feet, which I liked when I first became an amputee. I had a lot of shoes and I thought, well, I wanted to wear all my shoes. And after um, living the amputee life, I figured that's just not practical. Um, what a lot of people don't understand, especially non-amputees, is that switching shoes, each shoe is different. Um, the heel, is going to be a little different, the cushioning is going to be a little different, so it's always a uh, adjustment period, learning how to walk in them. And so after a while, I just, I never adjusted the heel on my runways, I just stuck with the same shoe for the longest time. And what happens is, um, for me at least, I just stick with the same brands of shoes because I know how they're going to walk uh, amongst their models. So for me, I like Sperry's. Good cushioning, pretty flat. Um, Nike are pretty good. Those are probably the shoes you see me the most in. They're good. Uh, they have a good grip on them. The the Janoskis. Um, I don't know if I pronounced that right. Uh, what else do I like? Uh, Vans are pretty good. Um, and so I just buy those same kinds of shoes over and over again because I know how they walk and I just don't want to deal with uh, learning how to walk in new shoes because sometimes it... It's easier to walk in them, uh, sometimes it's harder to walk in them, and it's just, so, you know, a lot of times I, I, I don't change my shoes for months. And so, that's my review of the Freedom Innovations Kintera foot. Um, any questions, put them in the comments, follow me on Instagram at OCAmpT. And remember, I'm just a normal guy talking about the feet that he likes, so it's not a technical review. So I hope you liked it and see you on Instagram. <laughs>